with the same problem because we didn't put in enough energy. But now we are! We won't stop! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No Live, yeah. put a price on that. Okay. We can price the courthouse. Can you price this life? Can you price William Johnson, Timothy Lane? Nothing changes in America without rigorous. Defund the police. Listen to me. And give it to the black people. Hear me for a second. Nothing changes without money being affected. Exactly. Burn the shit down. No, no, no. Let's burn it down. It's money. Hear me for a second. Hear this. And Google it. I challenge anybody to Google it. Our spending power is about 1.3 trillion dollars in the United States, but but we, we're scattered in how we direct our money. Let me let me explain. Let me give you some history. All right, America changed on its axis four times in history. In these 200 some years. First time was when England was taxing the rich people for tea, and the rich people got wise and had the poor people to fight for them. It's called the Revolutionary War. The first change. The second change was when the North decided, hey, we're going to take the money from the South. This thing called slavery. That's how the South made their GDP, their gross yep. domestic yep. product. How they made their GDP. Money, right? Money. So when they, when, they, when they shut the South down, shut slavery down, America changed again. But it next time, the, the, but it didn't oh. stop. No, 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 no. I still don't understand wait, 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 how this is relative wait, wait, to the fact that we're of these young men right here. I don't understand how that's relative. What y'all want? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I'm representing the abundance of the market. Let me know. 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 I'm representing abundance of the market. I'm the youngest legislator here. I'm the youngest. I'm 29 years old. I'm in the state house voting on laws. I need y'all out here pushing the issue, fighting for the people. And we're going to bring it together. And if y'all are interested in law school, we need lawyers to fight in the courtroom because that's where it really goes down, y'all. Y'all act so scary. You telling me? Y'all act so scary. I don't know why they're so scary. You know, overall, I guess the systematic oppression of black people is just generally like a message here. It's like, we're at, I would say, and I guess, for like a time, we're just tired of it. We're fed up, and it's just like, at this point, it's done. So, we just want equality. Civil rights. Same thing that the, the white privileges, same privileges the white men have to I would like to be afforded the same. Thank you.